Welcome to this video where I revisit Hay on Seasons 19, on console, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's late spring, I'm on Sussex Farm, Farms, and I've got um, a couple of things, a couple of questions I, I need to answer. Generally speaking, if I get asked questions um, on my videos or anything like that, I'll answer them. When it gets to a point where I've got a lot of people asking the same question, I think sometimes it's just easier to make a video. And then you can have a look and, you know, and there'll be other people out there. Generally speaking, what I found when I used to teach, if one person's going to ask a question, there are other people in the class that want to know the answer to that question. So a couple of things that I, when I did the grass handling video when Seasons first came out, there are a few things I missed and a couple of things I kind of took for granted and assumed were going to be the same. Um, so one is, the question was asked, can you cut grass when it's not fully grown? Well, that again, I kind of took as a given of, of course you can, there's absolutely no reason why not. If I put get the Wopster, or the handheld device, whatever it's called now, my growth is only at 67%. It's not fully grown yet, um, but it's also very wet. Um, so I'm going to recover that situation because I can kill two birds with one stone here. So what I'm going to try and do is cut the grass now when it's not fully grown. So let's turn on the front one, turn on the rear one, drop that down, drop that down. The answer is yes you can. As long as it's not 33% which is its first growth stage it won't let you cut it because there's not anything really there to cut. Unlike other crops where you have to wait till they're fully grown before you can harvest, in most situations, not all, um, grass can be cut at the 67% stage, at the fully grown stage, at the 33% it can't. Now the thing with this is, because of the, the actual um, moisture in the actual grass itself, this is wet grass. Can't do anything with wet grass. To turn this into hay, you need to ted it. You have to. There's nothing you can do with wet grass. You have to um, ted this to turn it into hay. So, which brings me on to the next question. Um, if you ted wet grass and you get dry grass, which is the next step. Sorry, when I said you have to turn it into hay, you've got to turn it into dry grass first because that's the new step. Dry grass then gets turned into hay. Um, if you've just tedded wet grass and you've got dry grass, Part of the game now with seasons is you then leave that to dry in the air and it will become hay. The question was asked, can't you just ted it a second time and get hay straight away? So that's the question we're going to ask and the answer we'll try to answer next. So we'll open out the tether. So the moment I've got wet grass, what I've got to do is turn this wet grass into dry grass. And then usually you would leave that out in the sun and you know, happy days it will gradually turn into... Um, hey do as long as it doesn't rain again if it rains again that's why you've got to keep an eye on the weather forecast right so what i'm doing now is turning the wet grass into dry grass like so so we've now got dry grass like i say as a cut as a as the realismus website says all the information says and as i did on the grass handing video you would now leave that in the sunshine and that will gradually become that much lighter colour, the newer one now, and you would get hay. So the first question after I did that video was, can't I just ted that now and get my hay? Well, let's try it. No, you can't. That stays as it is as dry grass. That colour has not changed on that at all. I am technically turning it over but with the new season system, you have to leave it to dry in the sun. Hopefully it, does. Hopefully it doesn't rain again. In the sun and the wind and the air will do whatever it needs to do. Um, and that will then turn into hay. You cannot ted it straight away. So if you've got dry grass anywhere, um, unfortunately going straight over it with a tedder isn't going to make any difference. The next question asked was, well, if you've done that, can you windrow it? And will it still turn into hay? I don't see any reason why that wouldn't be the case. So, let's try it. What I'm going to do is windrow what we've got there. We'll leave it for a little bit. Hopefully it's warm enough. Hopefully it's warm enough and we have a bit of wind or... And it will get hay out of this. So what I'm going to do is windrow it first. 
and that windrow should change into hay so it does mean you haven't got to wait until it's you know it kind of gives you a job you can be getting on with you haven't got to wait so let's turn it on drop that down so windrowing our dry grass I mean, the theory being, they're called windrows for a reason. Uh, it kind of bulks everything together, um, and when it is windy-ish, it stops everything scattering all over the place. And because they're kind of bulked up a little bit, the wind goes down the rows and it kind of dries things out a little bit. Would this be done in the real world? I've had loads of comments from different people saying, depends on the area, depends on the country, depends on the farmer some farmers will leave it all on the ground as it was cut they'll let it dry dry they'll ted it turn it all over and then it will gradually turn to hay obviously the new system that realismus have done does it slightly differently um so now i've got wind road dry grass i'm going to answer another question now and that is um there's a bit of a not a debate as such but there was, I think it might have been, was it DJ? I think it might have been DJ Goham did um, some videos. A few of my subscribers commented to say, uh, DJ's done some videos and, uh, of the situation with regard to grass. I'm sure it was grass, they said. I apologise, DJ, if, I'm, if I get this wrong, and I, I'm not in any way criticising anything at all. Um, but I was told, categorically, you can leave grass in, um, in a trailer... As long as it's got a cover on it, that won't go. You won't lose anything. Um, when I was doing my cows videos, I have to say, in all honesty, I beg to differ. Um, now, it may well be they were talking about hay or straw. Hay or straw that's covered or left in a pile won't rot away now. Grass still does. If I put grass into this trailer now, rather than picking up grass off the road, I'll just buy some, it'd be quicker and easier. If I buy some grass and put it in the trailer... Like so. And I put the cover on. What I'm going to do is speed up time, because obviously I need that um, dry grass on the ground to turn to hay, so providing it doesn't rain again... So, time's up to 120. Now, potentially, this grass won't do anything until after the first day. But no, already I've lost some in that trailer. Look in the bottom right-hand corner. I had 21,000 litres. It is dropping. My grass in that trailer, covered or not, I'm still losing it. It's degrading the whole time it's sat in there. At midnight, you'll then lose half of that again, I think. You'd, you'd lose a chunk of it. Um, but that is gradually disappearing as I'm sitting there. Like I said, I could be doing DJ a disservice. The comments that were... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I should have looked at the weather forecast. And it may well be it was talking about hay and straw, not grass. It may be the person that commented or the people that commented had made a mistake with that but just to clear that up if you if you thinking actually you know what i'm just going to put the grass and stuff into a trailer i'll put a cover over it, it'll be fine my grass is degrading it is disappearing gradually with the time sped up um so again i thought i would just mention that the problem we got now is my dry grass if it continues to rain i think it's going to turn back to wet grass we may well see the color change potentially but certainly if I go past midnight, it's going to start rotting away as well, so we need to be careful. That's really frustrating. Okay, it's a new day, uh, because it, ra it rained constantly. I did a second row, uh, so I turned the wet grass into dry grass, windrowed it. So that's my original. It hasn't gone back to being wet grass, actually. What I've also done is gone and bought a scoop load of hay, just so we can see the difference here between the dry grass and the hay. So are our windrows still going to turn? Will they turn into hay? That's what we're going to be checking. I'm also going to check is my grass in my trailer. There was 21,000 litres in that when we bought it. That's now down to 16,905. So that's what we've lost from yesterday to this morning. Um, about 
5,000 litres, well, four and a bit thousand litres we've lost out of there already. Um, so what I'm going to do is speed up time um, so that hopefully will turn to hay. While that's happening, I'm going to talk about something else. Um, and that is, the question was asked, according to Seasons, loose straw, hay and grass has no value. It's worth zero. Um, bales you can still sell, but loose has no value whatsoever. Now, it could just be the map. It could be that I'm on Sussex Farms. And I know Jim does various different things to make that happen. But if we go into the menu here and we look at our prices for our hay, straw and grass... Um, if we look at the animal straw barn on here, there's definitely values there. If we look at the BGA, there are values there. Um, if I go up, actually right down the bottom, we've got the straw barn, there are values there for them. If I go up, I'm pretty sure there's one at the top as well, the Edge Grain Vault Black. Now that's not one of Jim's, that's a mod. Um, now these mods, a lot of the mods are seasons ready, etc. Now when you're selling them at the edge grain vault to sell if they have no value when you get rid of them you're not going to make any money whatsoever i'm making money in the top corner there is money going on so the thing about grass hay and straw loose not having any value it may well be on certain maps on base game sell points but the edge grain vault certainly on this map i'm finding um, I'm making money, which brings me on to another question. If you don't want to go through the rigmarole, and a lot of people have asked me this question, because the question was raised, if grass, hay and straw has no value, I had some people saying they were buying it on the map they were on for nothing. It wasn't costing them a penny. They were going and getting it, and it, it was, for, for all intents and purposes, free, which I found a little bit odd. Um, but let's look at that as an option. If you don't want to go through the hassle, if you want to call it that, of cutting grass and then, or if it's wet grass, turning it to dry grass, let's buy some grass and see how much it costs. Now, it's only a small trailer, obviously, but if I get 21,000 litres of grass, then obviously you've got to think about scaling that up. And this is from the Edge, um, Edge Castiga um, kind of buy anything silo. For 21,000 litres, that just costs me 675, which isn't a huge amount, but I get it. You can make it for free if you've got your own field. Um, now what I could do is just drive along with the back open, dump this, and I've got grass that I can then turn to hay if I want to. I can leave it out if I drive along quickly enough, and then dump it. I'm getting, for all intents and purposes, a windrow of grass, which I could leave out. But if you look at the grass, that looks like wet grass which potentially it is. I may still need to ted that to turn that into dry grass, but I could buy it. I mean, at the end of the day, I could buy it rather than having to get mowers and, you know, I don't necessarily even have to have a field. I could do that along a road if I own part of a road or something like that. I could just lay it all out and I could go through the process there. But then the question is asked, well, could I just buy the hay? Would that not be an option? I could just buy hay, couldn't I? didn't actually speed up time which is probably why that nothing's turning um so if i look at the hay as an option i only paid what 600 and something didn't i just now for the grass now if the hay is ridiculously more expensive then you're thinking well that's why i could buy grass i could do it myself i could buy it and then i could just change it myself i can ted it or leave it out in the sun and turn it to hay but it does mean i haven't got to go through that rigmarole of grass production if you can call it rigmarole that was 840 not a huge amount more to just buy hay which of course is an option and that was something a lot of people have been saying to me have been messaging saying well if i've now got to cut grass if it's wet i've got to tell it to make dry grass if it's dry grass i've got to leave it to make hay can't i just buy hay of course you can it's an option there are plenty of buy anything silos now and on jim's maps especially he has buy points for grass hay and straw generally speaking he always puts those in so is it an option absolutely it's an option you can buy it you don't have to actually go through any of this process you could just buy it directly this isn't changing yet so i'm hoping it doesn't rain again and we are going to get a change of these windrows 
And then that will answer that question. There are probably going to be more questions. Loads of questions are going to be asked, I would imagine. But these are the main ones that I've been asked quite a lot recently. And I didn't really cover in the first video. So I thought I would just uh, try and cover them. Try and answer them. And so in answer to the question, can you windrow your grass, your dry grass, and will it turn into hay? Of course, typically it did it overnight. I sat watching it and watching it and watching it. It got darker and darker and darker and darker and nothing happened. So I skipped through the night and it has changed. That's the hay pile that I bought and I dumped from the uh, wheel loader. And this is what we've got now. So yes, you can windrow. It will still turn to hay. I did panic and I did a strip on its own, but I did that much later. And I thought if I leave that as it is and don't windrow it, I'll get a comparison between the two. But as it turned out, it did turn into hay anyway. And I did wonder, in all curiosity, typically the grass will grow again, lovely. Um, that grass that I bought, that I laid out, and I said that was wet grass. And I thought, what if it's not? What if for some weird reason, if you buy it, it's actually like it was in the base game? So I tethered it and then I tried to pick some up with the wheel loader and it just said grass. So I thought there might be a way of skipping around it, but there wasn't. Um, that obviously now will need to dry out completely and then that will become hay as well. So there wasn't any way of kind of skipping that that process. Um, I hope that's answered a few of the questions. You know, can you cut the grass when it's not fully grown? Will windrows turn into hay? Can you buy it? Of course you can. Um, the whole thing about it having value, that will probably need to be checked on various different maps because it may well depend on the map maker, um, the modder, and it may well be that if their season's ready. I mean, this map is season's ready, um, but I, I just sold a little bit of hay. I just sold some grass. I just, you know, um, the hay that was left in here overnight hasn't deteriorated. Now, the grass that I had in the trailer, if you remember, the grass that was in here, um, even with it being covered, the grass still rotted away, and I'd lost what 4,000, nearly 5,000, or just over 4,000 litres. This has been left overnight uncovered. I've still got 21,000 litres of hay in there, um, so I didn't even cover it. So the hay, obviously, the, the hay and straw is far more hardy than uh, than grasses. Um, but there you go. Um, hay questions answered. I hope there are probably going to be more. Um, you can still bail these, pick them up with um, loading wagons, uh, all with the various different ways. Um, you can store it loose, you can store it under cover, you can store it in bales, you can store it under cover. Grass will still rot away. Um, it takes a little bit longer than it used to. They've stretched that time period out, um, but it, grass will rot. You, you know, you've got to be very careful of that. And if it rains, it can go far, far quicker. So there we go. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.